I have a new video for you guys because the Ace family is doing the most. And by Ace family, I mean Austin McBroom because he recently announced that he's doing a boxing tournament with YouTubers versus TikTokers. This is an absolute mess. And I feel like it's another business venture for Austin to take on and to take money from you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about it. If you guys don't know who the Ace Family is, they are a family vlogging channel here on YouTube with almost 20 million subscribers. Bryce Hall is another influencer here also on YouTube and on TikTok where he became popular. These two have been beefing recently, Austin and Bryce, and I've actually talked about this in a previous video. So if you guys have not seen that, definitely go check it out because I thought they were just beefing for whatever reason and maybe uh, Austin was trying to bully him into boxing him, but this is a very calculated move by Austin because he is hosting a boxing tournament between YouTubers and TikTokers. I don't know what the deal is with all these YouTubers, the Paul brothers becoming boxers, but I guess boxing is the new sport. I don't really see Austin as a boxer, but he's been on this train for a couple of months now and it seems pretty serious. Supposedly he was going to fight Chris Brown instead of Bryce Hall, which <laughs> that's so random, but it turns out Bryce Hall was his best pick and he revealed this in some paparazzi footage recently taken by Hollywood Fix. So I took this footage and I cut it into little snippets so you guys can hear the important bits. And honestly, Hollywood Fix, you better not try to come for me because they've been trying to delete my friend Spill Plug. If you know Spill Plug, they're a channel here on YouTube. He's been trying to like come for that channel. So do not come for me. This is free, fair use right here. But pretty much um, Austin is confronted by Fletcher, which is this like paparazzi guy. You guys will hear about him throughout this video because Bryce Hall is really mad at him because he followed Austin McBroom. He talked to him about the situation and he also talked a bunch of crap about Bryce. Later when he uh, confronts Bryce, this Fletcher dude, Bryce completely ignores him. But you guys will see that in a little bit. I want to show you guys this part because it shows how uh, calculated and manipulative Austin is because I feel like he's just picking on Bryce Hall because he wasn't going to go fight Chris Brown. He talks about my age. Since when does age have anything to do with boxing? Right. He talks about I have kids. What do kids have to do with boxing? I feel like kids don't have to do anything with boxing, but the fact that you're a family vlogger and that's how you are an influencer, you're known for being a family man. And it's like, why would you go and box these uh, younger guys when you could just go be a father? Tired of the excuses, man. He, he keeps saying, you know, if we fight, it has to be underneath his terms. Right. You know, I actually talked to producers yesterday and we're making it to where it's his terms. Yeah, okay, so right there, you guys will see, he said, I talked to producers yesterday. So obviously this is a business deal. And it's crazy because like, it's something that like Bryce did not want to do, but Austin kind of forced him into it. And now Bryce is kind of doing it because like Austin said, they're going on his terms, which means that Austin would be paying Bryce Hall $5 million at least just to do this, which is insane. That's so much money. He's getting his 5 million guaranteed. Five million. Five, I probably five. shouldn't be saying some of this. I'm just gonna say. But like legit though, this he's getting his like five million. Five million, five million dollars. I agree. I agree Tiktokers out here getting five that's million. That's what I'm saying, right? I was right. That that's. Far. I mean, that's an insane amount of money, and it shows how desperate Austin is to secure this fight because he originally tried to fight Jake Paul or Logan Paul first, and then Bryce Hall just kind of snuck in, and then once Bryce Hall replied, Austin was so hyped because he realized that he will be able to make a feud out of this and later turn it into a boxing tournament. Team, I said, look, I'll agree for Bryce Hall to fight me. I'll agree to make less money than him. And guess what I did? I threw in a bonus out of my pocket. If he wins, I'll give him an extra million dollars. Now he's getting Jeez. six million. Who would it fight? Would y'all fight me? For I mean, six million? million dollars is it a crazy amount of money? I think that just speaks volumes to how desperate Austin truly is. Bro, would you fight me for six bro, million? Bro, that, that's why I'm confused on why he doesn't do it. Why does he not do it, bro? bro, bro. So what he's talking about is that Bryce Hall isn't actually signing the paperwork. He's had the contract in front of him for some time. You guys can see five million dollars listed right there. And he actually shared this online and wrote, now we're talking. Austin finally got my attention. And um, Austin actually reshared it and said, but you still haven't signed yet. So Bryce has the contract, but he has not signed it yet. And I feel like maybe he's a little unsure about it because it's kind of a weird situation to get into. He didn't really ever want to do this. Austin kind of like put him in a position where he had to. Hey, let's, 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 but let me ask you this. Are you bullying him though? You're bigger than him. You're, you're Are you bigger. bullying him? Like, and then actually this Fletcher guy says that Austin is more built than him. Listen to this. 
bigger than him? You're am I, than him? Am I bigger than you him? Am I bigger than him? I don't, I, don't, I don't think he is actually bigger than him, which is, uh, I, I don't even want to talk about that. Like, that, I think that's kind of ridiculous. But, like, he is physically smaller than Bryce. Like, that's a fact. I looked at some pictures, and Bryce Hall is pretty big and strong. So I would be scared if I was Austin. But the real reason is the team originally came to me to fight Chris Brown. That's what they really wanted me to fight. Because I could okay. end up fighting anybody with, with more clout than okay. Can you imagine Austin McBroom fighting Chris Brown? Like, what a weird mix. Like, Chris Brown and... Like, I just don't even think of them as like the same in the same realm at all. And it turns out they're actually friends. All right. And Chris Brown's a bigger dude. But, but Chris Brown is actually guy. a homie yeah, yeah. of mine. He's a homie of mine, so it didn't yeah. really make sense. He stays like right down the street from me. Yeah, right? it just didn't make sense, right? right? But then they came back to me with the concept: YouTubers versus TikTokers. Now okay. that to me makes sense. There you go. Oh, that makes sense. Honestly, I just feel like the TikTokers versus like YouTubers, like uh, like who are the YouTubers who are going to be fighting? Like, can I go fight in front of them? Like, imagine if I fought one of them. Um, anyways, like who, which YouTubers? Like, it's going to be the most random people. And actually, there is a photo of some of these like boxers out there. Austin posted this picture with a bunch of the guys who I guess are going to be boxing. And when I say I just don't understand what's going on here, I don't understand. Like again. I just really who I don't know recognize one of these guys like maybe I, I thought I was like on TikTok enough maybe I'm not on it enough because I don't recognize any of them and I guess they're all going to be wrestling with uh on Austin's like tournament or whatever his boxing tournament but um <laughs> What a, what a weird situation going on here. Of course, Austin saw that boxing was becoming more popular and he jumped right on it because I don't think he's ever done anything that's original. Right? Got a little smoke right there. And so then right. they were like, yo, what about Bryce Hall? I was like, perfect. I already don't like the kids. So now it makes you- So the producers actually told Austin, hey, what about Bryce Hall? They, they suggested it to him and they went from there. So I'm like, he didn't even really, ha did he even have this beef? Maybe a little bit, but like, Bryce, right. Bryce wasn't really ever like acknowledging Austin or even talking bad about the East family until they started arguing online because Austin started it. Wait, 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 wait. what's this about? No, 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 what's this about? So, because so. I know you, you hoop with Chris Brown. Y'all are cool. Yeah. So. Oh, he hoops with Chris Brown. Okay, so they they play basketball. It's so random. There's a boxing event that's getting ready to be announced in about a week or so. It's going to be YouTubers. Versus TikTokers. Oh, so a and week or so. So next Monday, there will be an event that will be announced from the Ace family. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, every time I think that, oh, they're, you know, they're slowing down a little bit. They just pick up running. And I'm actually working right now on a full investigation involving their, um, their course, which is actually going to be insane. I think that video will drop on Friday, but I'm working with like actual investigators. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. Over the internet. I probably shouldn't be saying this, but I'm going to say it. His best friend, Taylor Holder, signed a boxing deal. He's Shut getting ready to up. box in the event. So Taylor. his, one of, okay, Bryce Hall's good friend, Taylor Holder, who is also a very popular TikToker and influencer, he has actually signed on for the event. He was definitely not in that picture of those boys with Austin, but he's a pretty big name, so that would be a win, I guess, for that event. And so you guys understand why Bryce does not like this Fletcher guy. I mean, the entire video, he was talking crap about Bryce. Like, here's a little snippet right here. Your views, look at Bryce's views. Amen. You stay, bro, pull it. Bro, you could film a video of, like, the street and it would get, like, 10 million views. Like, You could film a video of the street and it would get 10 million views. Like, look at your views compared to Bryce's views. It's just like, oh, gosh. And, of course, Bryce did not like that. This footage is from Kevin Wong, who is a famous celebrity photographer, and he is actually following Bryce with his iPhone. And you'll hear that same guy that we were just listening to, the other paparazzi guy, Fletcher, in the background. And as soon as Bryce sees Fletcher, he is pissed because he saw him talking crap about him to Austin, and he's like, oh no, stay away from me. And um, this is that little snippet. Hey, what's up, Bryce? Good to see you, man. Hey, so nice. there's Bracey. You know, uh, you know, I don't know if you know about the Austin McBroom. He talked about you yesterday. Oh, no, I saw it. Well, what what you think, man? Uh, I think Fletcher was talking more about me than Austin was. Oh, I think Fletcher was talking more crap about me than Austin was, and look how mad he is. Like, I can kind of tell sometimes when, like, people are angry, and I can see it almost in his facial expression. Like, he seems a little bit tense, on guard, and he is ready to argue with the paparazzi. Hey, what's going on hey. with this boxing match with, with Austin, man? I'm are not you talking gonna, to you. Are you, are you, are you gonna, are you gonna... He uh, won't even uh, look at him. He said, I'm not talking to you, which, honestly, I respect. Like, if these, these paparazzi, they try to play friends with you when they're with you in person, and then when they're away and they're talking to your, you know, your enemy, they just talk about 
bunch of crap and they're trying to hype up the situation. I can see what Fletcher is doing there by trying to cause the drama, but like Bryce takes it very personally. Yeah. Huh? Are you thinking about accepting it yet? Oh yeah, no, I am accepting it. He so he is so accepting it. You're gonna do it for six million? So, you, you, uh, so you're gonna do it for sure, Bryce? Yeah, it's uh. So I don't know if I'm allowed to discuss my deal, but I'm getting five million flat. Wow. They just nonstop. They're like, oh, I don't know if I can discuss this. I don't know if I can discuss this. And then they share it. So he's getting $5 million and an extra $1 million if he does knock out Austin McBroom. And honestly, I would love to see him knock out Austin McBroom. Like, wouldn't you guys, low key? Do you have any special message to Austin? Not, 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 he doesn't not, know what he just signed up for. He doesn't know what he just signed up for. He doesn't That's know what he just amazing. signed up for. Oh. Hey, Bryce, hey man. Yeah. Yeah, and I think I think I think I think he's afraid, man. I think he's afraid, man. We'll see. He's afraid. He's afraid. Wow. Ooh, Austin, you're gonna have to reply to that. So it looks like the fight is going to happen. And low key, I would love to see Bryce Hall like just fight Austin McBroom because I don't really like Bryce Hall. So I mean, he's alright, but like some of the things he's done is pretty crappy. But to see Austin like get get at it, like I I would just be I would be so ready for it. Like I mean, even Austin, you know, Austin started this whole drama with Bryce. So to see him him a uh, Bryce end it would be amazing <sighs> but uh, Austin McBroom is thriving off of all of this he actually posted a video to that first uh clip that we saw with Fletcher and him talking about Austin and he actually tagged a few people who we suspect to be in this boxing tournament one of those is FaZe Jar Jarvis I don't know if I'm saying his name right there's also Tanner Fox I actually don't know any of the other people um, I'm not that familiar with them so will I be watching uh, probably not maybe if it's free but it probably won't be free I feel like it's gonna be like kind of like those like boxing uh, matches or wrestling or you know fights in general where uh, you have to pay like $50 $100 to view it that's exactly what this is gonna be and it's another opportunity for Austin to make more money off of other people I just I find it so annoying and frustrating because he is is an absolute clout seeker and he's also just not a great businessman I mean this is gonna be another event that's probably his situation that he's making money off of and on top of that he's got his course he's been doing recently which he hasn't really been doing recently we talked about that on a in a previous video and we talked about how he's doing live streams and such for it but he actually isn't even showing up to his own live streams. We've got a video coming out about that like later this week because like I said, I'm investigating, but I am very, very disappointed in the East family. I mean, if I just think back to the last year where we were, they were doing like silly juice and such. And I thought that was maybe more up their alley. But now that he's doing this, I just feel like if there is an opportunity for him to steal someone's idea to, uh, to make more money off of another industry, he is going to jump on it. But I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys have not checked out my merch, definitely go check it out. It's on Amazon. It is Prime. Um, I love it. So definitely go check it out if you want to. No pressure at all. But I do have a package to open today. This is actually from another country. It's from uh, Caitlin Wilson. And she is in uh, the UK. Wow. Ooh, uh, Glasgow. Glasgow. I hope I'm saying that right. If you guys didn't know, I usually open uh, packages at the end of my videos. And if you guys ever want to send me anything, my address is linked below. But no pressure at all. I'm just trying to get some of these open sometimes because I'm so bad at opening the letters. Even with this really good uh, letter opener from uh, Nay, I still cannot. I'm like, oh gosh. Okay, here we go. I'm also so scared about like just ripping um, like the letters or something because... This one smells so good. I don't know if she sprayed perfume. She must have. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Like, what is the smell? It smells like a, the Fenty or something. Okay, let's see what this is. So, ooh, a nice letter. Okay. Hi, Sloan. My name is Caitlin, and I am 25 and a mental health nurse from Scotland. Oh, um, I'm writing and sending you this gift as a thank you for opening my eyes and educating me on what's happening with Brittany. Uh, I can't believe the courts, lawyers, um, medics involved have allowed this to happen. Exactly. Thank you for raising awareness. Brittany is actually the reason why I got into mental health nursing. Aw, when she shaved her head and everything. Oh, aw, that's, oh, oh, and you actually bring up Eugenia too. I love when you guys bring up multiple videos. Sending Eugenia healing, light, and love. That is beautiful, Caitlin. Um, I'd also love to hear your take on what's happening with the Princess of Dubai. Dubai? I'm not familiar with that. 
Um, now missing. <gasps> oh my gosh. What? I need to go watch this. Okay. Oh my gosh. I need to go watch this. Um, love, light, and positivity to you and your family and bunny. And then you've got an Etsy shop. Aw, awesome. I'll list that below and I will follow you on Instagram. Thank you, Caitlin. Oh my gosh. And it looks like she sent me a free Britney bracelet, which she actually made it pretty big, which I'm excited for because I have huge wrists and, um, uh, rings and fingers. <gasps> Look how perfect this is. Oh my gosh. She made me a free Britney bracelet. It's the perfect size. I love the color green. I don't know if you just knew that I love the color green or what, but this is perfect, Caitlin. Thank you so much. And I love how you have a little shop and such, so I'll list that all below. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye, guys.